Hello folks and welcome to another Wise Gamer video. Today we're going to be covering targeting in World of Warcraft. You could probably use this for a lot of other MMOs too, but I'm not sure really how the UIs work for that. But this is basically for World of Warcraft PvP. Okay, um, now when it comes to RBGs and things of that nature, we know that we try to stay on the same target just to down the other enemy team that much more quicker and more efficient. Now sometimes, uh, especially nowadays with group finder and things like that, we're not always voice communicating, so it's tough to get that point across. With this macro I'm going to show you today and a couple of other tips, it should help you uh, perform better as a team when it comes to down on that enemy. Now first of all, let's go over some uh, key details. For this demonstration, I'm mainly going to be clicking on my, my macro and things like that. I don't have it set up for a key bind, but you can key bind if you look into, uh, let's see here, um, if you look into key bindings, they got targeting here and they got a whole page of all different ways that you could target enemy players, um, you know, and things like that. Like the one I like to use when it comes to PvP is usually it's defaulted to this top one called target nearest enemy. Okay, that's great for PvE, like if you're out in the world questing and things like that, that's fine. But when it comes to PvP, a lot of times you don't want to, if you use the top one, you're going to be targeting things like pets and things that you don't really want to target. So to actually always stay on that enemy player, it's always best to put, to activate this one right down here. That's why I'm, I'm using the cursor for this video so you guys can see what I'm pointing at. Okay, um, so I got it usually set the target's nearest enemy player, and that's usually a big help right there too. Now another few things you want to go over too is um, in interface, you want to go to say, uh, let me see if I can find it. Uh, I don't think that'd be it. Oh, there we go. Target of target, that's a good one to have checked off. And if we close this, oh, another thing too is um, also names. If you go to names, you have a whole page here of what, say if you're tab targeting, okay, or how you have your key binding set up for targeting, other than clicking on something. If you're just clicking on all your enemies, then you don't really have to worry about this step. But what I like to do here is I like to usually just keep uh, enemy units on and shut all these other things off. Okay, now totems is sometimes important when it comes to fighting shamans. It's sometimes good to take them out. But in WAD, it seems like the totems aren't as powerful as they used to be in the past. So pretty much if everybody stays on that shaman, they could usually down that person no problem without really worrying about the totems as much, but this is totally up to you. But I usually shut off pets, guardians, and all that good stuff. And I do use class, color, and name plays. All right, and same up here with enemy plays. I just make sure that I got that one checked off and I got these ones uh, unchecked, okay? And another helpful tip when it comes to like going into places, I like to see the bars above my enemy. It just makes it where I can notice them better. So usually default, you just hit the V key. And the V key is going to make it where, see how those bars above the target dummies go on and off. Okay. And then you could also key bind a key too where it would show your friendly players. So you could tell when they're, when they're next to you. Now for this demonstration, uh, she's away at the moment because I told her I was getting things set up. I got my friend Augie here. And she's going to help me demonstrate in this video how I'm going to be using this macro on these target dummies. Okay, so these are key factors right here. Now, another thing you want to go over too when it comes to, like, say, world PvP and things like that, and even help some BGs and Asherin and all those, all those places, is uh, up on top here. Uh, let me see if this is it. Yeah, this is it. You have the options in here of what you want your mini map to pick up on. Okay. And for PvP, a lot of times these are defaulted off, actually, like focus target and things like that. So you want to make sure that you have focus target on, target on um, for this demonstration. Okay. Now, my friend Augie is back. So let's just give me a second. I'm going to communicate back to her and we'll get the ball rolling. Okay. So with my friend Augie here, she's all set. We're going to get this thing going. 
Okay, so basically, I'm just going to be using the macro that I'm going to be showing you guys towards the end of the video. All right, and once you make this macro, you get the icon, and then you drag it into your toolbar, and you could click on it, or like I said earlier, you could set up a key binding. But this should always make it where you stay on your TC target callless target, okay, which is a death knight usually or whatnot, whatever you guys assign. Okay, now another thing too is each t with this macro, what's nice about this macro, and I'm not the only one that knows about it, they use it in, you know, a lot of groups use it now, but, you know, I'm just covering it in this video. Um, you don't have to put the name of the person in here, which is nice. So you can use it to anybody as long as you set focus with them. You have to set focus with them. Okay, so Augie's going to be, be my target caller here on these target dummies. So I got to set her, her focus, which is right here. Okay, now if you notice, from what we did earlier with those settings... If you notice, Augie now shows up on the map, on the mini map up here, like a bullseye. Everybody else will just be a smaller dot. So you could always tell your target caller and where they are by looking at the mini map. Because it's going to be a bigger dot that looks like a bullseye with that ring going around the edge of it. When normally it's not for everybody else. So that's how you could always find your TC and who you have to follow in these when you're fighting. Okay, so that makes it a lot easier. So that's why you want to have this checked off to focus target. Okay, that's very important for this to work. Now, I'm just going to be clicking here and hitting a few target dummies. And uh, just using the macro, that's what's going to make me know which target she's on. Now, whenever somebody targets something, it's going to show usually underneath their portrait as a smaller portrait. Now, because it's me targeting this target dummy, it just shows up next to my guy. But normally, if it's somebody else, you're going to see when Augie starts targeting, she's going to have the portrait of the guy here. So sometimes you could even just click on that portrait that they're on, and that's going to put you on the target too. But remember, either way that you do this, if they switch targets, you got to keep hitting that macro and things too. Now what's nice about this macro because we don't have to put in a name is say if we're in a 10 man group okay and the target caller is on the other side of the map say say like let's take uh, um, AB AB battleground you got lumber mill you got mines okay so of course you're gonna need two target callers there so if there's a group at lumber mill with a TC and a group at mines with a TC well, then you got to have somebody else that you should be able to quickly be able to assign by just right-clicking on their portrait and setting the focus. And if the target caller says dies, if he dies during the battle, okay, instead of just waiting for him to come back, somebody else could take over the target call. And, and with this method, all you have to do is just right-click on their portrait and set that person again to set focus, okay? just like I got already for Augie, okay? And this macro is going to follow that. You don't have to put in the person's name. That's what's nice about it. A lot of the macros I used in the past, you had to put in the person's name. Now, in the middle of a fight, you can't be sitting there, stopping, opening up your macro screen, and typing in the names. And some of the names in this game are rather long and kind of odd looking. So it's going to take you t time to do that with this macro and eliminates all that. As long as you've got them on set focus, this macro is always going to keep you on that on that person's target. Okay, so we're going to get started here. Okay, now we're going to start. I'm going to charge this, this dummy right here, and we're going to start off on that. Okay, now I'm just simply just clicking around here. I want to build up some rage. Okay, now by just hitting the, the uh, macro now, I automatically went, I just clicked on the macro, and it automatically put me on her target. Okay, she didn't have to call out any names. We're not even in voice together because I'm making the video. Okay. Very good, Augie. Very good. 
All right, now I got to find. All right, yeah, I'm a little too close here for charge. Okay, but you guys get the idea. Okay, again, I'm just hitting, hitting that macro. And now I'm going into my hits. Okay. And now I'm going to signal her to switch. Okay. And she switched to this guy. Okay. Very good. And that's it. All I'm doing again, just to stay on her target, is I'm just hitting that macro. And it's giving us this guy right here that's underneath her portrait. See what my cursor? And again, we're not communicating at all. Very nice. Now she switched to the middle guy. And that's pretty much all there is to this. Okay. I'm going to signal her again, and she should switch targets. She's right on top of this. And now we're on this target, which is the target that she's on. And again, this is going to work against the players. And that's basically it, folks. That's how the macro works. Pretty cool, huh? And again, if there was another person here, I could demonstrate of how to switch. Like I said now, say if she died or she was on the other side of the, the map now or something like that, then I would, you know, then I would just uh, right click somebody else in my group and then set them to focus um, if they are the next target caller in line. And that's pretty much all you got to do. So again, just uh, another recap. I'm going to um, charge in. Gonna hit this guy a few times. I'm gonna thunderclap and let's see if she changes. Okay, she might think I was done there. But I think we did it enough. Well, you guys should uh oh no, she uh changed. Good, nice. Alright. That's pretty much it, folks. Okay guys, here's the macro. Very simple. I'll give you a little bit of time to to just look that over and plus I'm gonna post it somewhere in the video description too so you could just simply copy it and then paste it into your macro okay now to copy and paste in the game you have to use control C to copy and control V to paste okay and just paste this into your macro you should set it up uh, pick yourself an icon and then just drag that icon into your bar or however you want to use it and you're good to go okay I also want to thank all you guys for supporting me watching my videos and I just became a partnership with uh, Social Blade and YouTube so I'm really looking forward to uh, making more videos pretty excited about that and again thanks for watching Wise Gamer you guys have a great day and a better gaming day tomorrow